So I just seen the rollout for the Color Purple movie. I'm so excited to have a fresh and brand new version of that movie, especially with Haley Bailey, Halle Bailey, Fantasia, and the star studded cast. But then I noticed at the very end it said only on Christmas Day. Now, what about us moms who play Mrs. Claus all day long and have to entertain and host? I really, really was excited to see that movie. And I'm trying to figure out like, how can I sneak out for a good two and a half to three hours or however long the movie is to see it? Cause I really do want to see it in support support why would they play us like this and only have it on christmas day or maybe i misread it is it just christmas day or is it starting christmas day anyways in honor of the color purple i am going yaki today so today i've teamed up with nadula they sent over this gorgeous gorgeous girl she's a yaki bob and she definitely is giving the natural vibe i love the cut the look the length everything about this one and i was able to do a no baby hair install which you guys know is always out of my comfort zone because i'm always wanting to add a little bit of baby hair on my wigs she has a beautiful luster to her and she's not stiff by any means i went ahead and did a little one two to install and then i went ahead of course and just bumped the ends very easy but i do want to remind you guys that when it comes to bobs you don't have to just have it in this one look forever you can make it straight at the ends i did do like a heavier bump on mine but you can definitely make it more blunt by having it like really straight at the ends you can also like pull it back get some bobby pins do some twisties and make it fun you can do it half up half down just a little something something like a babe a baby doll you know half up half down when it's time for the gym she can go behind your ears she can even go into that little you know rich black woman low ponytail with your lululemon set you can even like take it up top and do like a little claw clip and kind of like pin it up with some bangs in the front you can definitely have fun with your wigs and even look at that she's nice and full this isn't like a sparse or skimpy bob by any means she's also wear and go i know i am hyping her up but, but she came with the pre-cut lace pre-styled everything this one was literally ready to go of course i have all the details on mine in the description box but without further ado let's get right into the tutorial okay ladies welcome back to my channel i'm sure you already seen the intro so you guys already know we're going for a beautiful yakky textured bob today get a lot of that texture you guys can see how it has that beautiful like yakky texture to it but it also has some really nice sheen and it's still like silky and like has a great look luster to it this one is going to look absolutely beautiful and what's even more amazing is that it has a pre-cut lace the knots are already bleached and then the middle part is already pretty much set for you so this is going to be a very very easy super beginner friendly install you do also have your adjustable elastic band inside which you guys already know i like to adjust to the center and then in the back we have that like grip tight technology but they did also include the comb i'm going to go ahead and put her on and we're gonna get to work this is what our gorgeous gorgeous girl looks like on i'm just gonna comb through it so you guys can see the initial look this is the hairline you can tell already that it's pre-plucked to perfection now this one doesn't go like ear to ear it is more of like a closure which i love and the reason i love that is because if you watch my videos you know i always cut off the ear tab so this literally has the cap construction of my dreams because i like the look and feel of a frontal meaning i can go like deep side and do baby hair like way over here and there's lace but you guys know i don't like ear tabs here because they are a lot more maintenance on an everyday basis here is a look at the hair from the side it has a beautiful lay to it i want you guys to see my goodies but you guys can see how gorgeous she lays and you can also see how flat she is because sometimes when people hear the word like yakky you instantly think of like thick or bul bulky but this is more of a relaxed texture so you don't have to really worry about it being too much as far as the parting goes i did mention that it does look like the the knots are breached bleached pretty well they did set it as a center part but i do feel like i can go in and straighten it out also the parting stops right here but if you like a more extended parting space there is like an, another inch or two of parting space going back so you can definitely utilize that something that i am learning is that like i like my whole parting space like this but for some people they prefer just a little parting space and to kind of like tease it and let it go back you know in any way that they want but i'm gonna go ahead and do the dynamic duo and this is just the wax stick which again i'm using mine till there isn't any anymore and i'm just going to apply that generously along the parting and the hairline and we're gonna go ahead and heat up our hot tool this is an electric hot comb and I'm just gonna go ahead and fire it up as high as I can get it let it get warm and then we're gonna go in and flatten out the parting as much as we possibly can <laughs>
this might be right Either you feel it or you don't Might give it a try, yeah Our bodies collide Baby, you're everything I want Let's give it some Okay, I almost forgot I was doing a talk through I prefer talk throughs nowadays So I went ahead and melted the lace Hopefully you guys seen the halfway point The, the huge difference it makes So while we're here together I can go in and I can tint the lace So typically I use my cream foundation But lately I've been using this powder foundation I use the shade 16 for my hairline And then I use 15 for the parting I need to order a new one I just, I mean I ordered from Amazon At least six or eight, eight times this week alone And it never done on me to get the powder so hopefully i will remember to order some more but lately i've been trying to kind of calm down the parting i do make it pretty bright and pronounced in the past and i don't hate it but i'm starting to you know i turned 35 what was that two months ago so i'm just in my era where i'm turning into a 35 year old lady where i'm just not a young whippersnapper anymore but that's what it looks like in the parting i will do the hairline after we melted so for this one you guys can see for the most part it does fit glueless but of course course it's not bonded down so you can see it sitting on top so more than anything I just want to be able to melt it down the fact that it came with pre-plucked uh pre-cut lace made it very simple and easy to get to this step so I'm just going to take my little edge control and I'm just going to lay my edges backwards and the reason for this is mainly because for the most part you won't be able to see my edges but you know I feel like when you're home you're like oh nobody's gonna see my edges but when you're out and about and you're laughing and you're kikiing and the wind is blowing and you're doing the most things like this will show and you just want to make sure your stuff is together so um even though it's a yakky texture and it you know my edges are yakky technically it's still you know you don't want to see this with a, a very nice sleek bob you want to see it be sleek so i'm just gonna do this really quickly okay so now that we got that out of the way we can go ahead and melt the lace i've already got the hair pulled back so this should be simple and easy and you can use any melting spray that you like you guys know got to be glued and then the bed head which is this one are my two like most used so you kind of just pull the hair or the wig back i like to get a nice shake and then i like to apply it i don't like cold stuff on me so i'm gonna go quick okay so the wig is down and we can go ahead and allow that to do its job while she does her thing let's go ahead and fire up the curling iron one thing i haven't done on camera or at least i know i haven't done it recently is like curls on a bob like i think that in real life like when you have a bob some people feel like oh you know it's such a there's not a lot you can do with the bob and i beg to differ i mean yes of course you can't put in a ponytail or a bun as much because you know you get your little workout ponytail that's very low which i think this looks cute like a little lululemon set but then you can also take and like twist it upwards from the back up leave your little two pieces well not that much hair but you know like leave your two little bangs out and do like you can even do like you know you do a bunch of messy bobby pins to make it like go up like a egg roll or what was it called like a roll in the back and then you just put a bunch of bobby pins in there or like a cute little hair clip maybe even do a little curl away from the face on these two pieces and that is very fun and sexy especially for like a date night but you can also take and do curls like you can curl like really big away from the face curls on both sides and give it that you know wave fair faucet look where they kind of drop but it just gives body and dimension we're not doing none of that today we're going to definitely do a straight sleek bob because to me i feel like when i first put on the bob i just can't do anything but make it do what it's supposed to do which is to be like uh nice and sleek but i just do want to make an honorable mention that you can do all of the things but i'm going to take a little bit of this and this is just a blow dry spray and it's um protection advanced dry thermal protection so it's meant to put on dry hair as well and it's just a heat protectant but it's a bougie one. Ooh, it smells good now even though this is a wig i feel like adding a heat protectant will definitely preserve the longevity of your hair but a bonus with heat protectant a lot of them will have like a little light sheen or luster to it that adds a little bit of like life to your hair it makes it look really healthy and then like that one there the kenra it smells so good so i like to put products in my hair that will make it smell good because imagine wearing a beautiful perfume for your body also your hair smelling really good I 
do this. My thing, my flat iron got stuck and so it has a little crimp there. So I'm going to let that dry because it's really hot and I'll go back in and fix it. It's like when I do this side, trying to do the chase method and use the comb instead of using my fingers doesn't work as smooth as it does on the other side. And even if I'm not doing the chase method, I like to use a comb because the curling iron is really hot or the flat iron is really hot and the hair will hold heat and like burn my fingers. So I like to use a comb just forget get the comb i like to use the comb so that like if i have to grab the hair it doesn't uh it's not hot to my fingers say i came up they gon' say i changed up step my game up when you bring my name up they gon' say i came up they gon' say i changed up okay so i bumped it super tight i'm gonna go ahead and change my top so you guys can get the look and i gotta say my little motivational speech to my son he's about to go to basketball so i will be right back in just a jiff papa okay so i went ahead and turned or changed to this little pink top seen it all over i think it was either tiktok or instagram i want to say instagram it's one of those viral amazon shirts it is really nice my first time putting it on i got it in a medium and it kind of like sucks you in so i really do like it as far as the hair let's go ahead and do a little take down and look how beautifully the hairline did melt today i do want to do a no baby hair look just because i feel like bobs to me are the style where in general you see people are least likely to do baby hair i feel like long hair we always do baby hair but bobs are like that one style that like you still see baby hair and i still do baby hair bobs but it's just more likely to be just a sleek bust down middle part situation and this is the difference between the lace look how beautifully it, the lace is disappearing this product that i'm using is like a contour shade for me so it's a little bit darker than my skin tone and a lot more muted like if i take my wig off there's going to be like a dark cast where this product was because it is darker than my skin tone but i like it because it's more likely to blend and then it's not like too red or too yellow it's more muted perfectly for my complexion so it's just a no-brainer that even if sometimes it shows up a little bit too dark i'd rather be like muted like this than to be like too light and have that white cast or you know just literally be too light no I no I said no baby hair but of course I do have the urge I'm gonna add just a little bit of hairspray and that hairspray still helps me to keep the movement you guys can see with this beautiful top the really good color length texture of this beautiful girl I did do a heavier bump on the ends which I happen to like and then you can also see that she has like a nice sheen and bounce to her she's not stiff by any means even though we did add product to her she would be beautiful you know pulled behind the ear like so and my sideburns do blend pretty well and as I mentioned I did show you guys a bunch of different like um, hairstyles that you can do with this one as well if you just want to switch up your look from day to day as I mentioned this one did come from Nadula and this is the gorgeous bag the wig came in it is a reusable bag in fact Dominic ended up using this bag not this one but from one of my older wigs for um, a trunk or treat I forgot to pack them bags so I had one bag for Dakota but I didn't have a bag for Dom so she ended up using one of these and it came in handy and people actually kept giving compliments like oh my god I like that bag so this is great for like the snack bag for the car it's a catch-all you can really do so many different things and it even has the buttons in it so it's very fancy and very much nice quality so I love these bags that they provide and so of the bag was our box that contained the wig my wig is out of here and it's still heavy so they definitely load you up with the free goodies inside of my box you do get your inside of my box i did get a dust bag of course this is a forever bag and reusable then you also got your melt belt this one is like a nice tan cream color and it does say nadula all over then of course you get your mesh bag which is like a little free goodie bag and inside i did get an hd wig cap pack a second milk belt that works perfect and then a travel kabuki brush also in case you thought we were done we're absolutely not underneath this pack you do get another pack of hd wig caps and then of course you get a um nice beautiful robe which these robes are so gorgeous and so elegant and just so pretty and of course it says nadula on it it says it right here then it also say it i believe in the back and of course it's even better because it matches that melt that cream melt belt so it's like a cute little set 
So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I got the little Bottega dupes on. I did get these from Amazon as well. I'll have everything that I use in this video linked, listed in the description box. This one is absolutely fire. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.